Welcome to the Missouri s and Rocket Design Team. We are a rocketry team based in Rolla, Missouri. And as the name might suggest, we build rockets. From speedy solid rockets, experimental liquid rockets, contract rockets, and competitions to prepare our new members. We do it all. Hi, my name is Landon Sparrow, and I'm the CEO of the Missouri s and Rocket Design Team. Over the next year, we'll be trying to release videos monthly to show all of the really cool things that this team does. Uh, without further ado, let's get started with the very first episode. It is the beginning of the year for the Missouri s and Rocket Design Team. But before anything can be built, they all come together in the Student Design and Experiential Learning Center, colloquially known as the ESTEL. Our team has three main projects, the Solid Project, the Liquid Project, and Team Education. Let's talk with our Chief Solid Engineer to learn a little bit more about the Solid Project. Hi, I'm Austin Doan. I'm the Solid Chief Engineer for the Solid Project on the Rocket Design Team. Um, so for this year, our goal for the rocket is to sort of expand from a 4-inch diameter rocket to a 5-inch diameter rocket. So with scaling to a larger 5-inch diameter rocket, we aim to go to a higher altitude as that is the overall goal of the Solid Project to get to the highest altitude possible. Um, our target altitude this year would be around 59,000 feet, which is um, significantly higher than the 35,000 feet that we reached in 2024 with, um, with our rocket fortitude. Alongside just launching a rocket to 59,000 feet, um, I want to be able to progress the team through um, technical developments such as filament winding, um, and being able to scale up to a simpler design and able to reach our, or at least help progress our way to a eventual space shot. So what you doing over here? Uh, we are working on the Mechie Mat and Factor Safety for characterization hardware. Cool, can it's you tell me more about it? Yeah, so all these calculations are allowing us to make sure our hardware uh, operates safely and kind of determining that before we go and actually test our propellant. Um, it's some important testing hardware to get good data, so we want to make sure it survives for as long as possible and hopefully can be reused in the future. Um, so all these equations are just allowing us to figure out our dimensions that we need for all of our hardware. As Austin mentioned before, being able to manufacture our own carbon fiber and fiberglass tubes using the filament winder is an important goal for the solid project this year. That seems a lot thinner than the Let me remember what's going on here. So they're trying to feed the fiberglass filament through here before we even start the wind um, because what the film is going to go all the way through there's going to be epoxy in this vat it's going to shoot up well not shoot up but it's going to be pulled up and through this hole right here and then onto the tube so they're getting it set up here and checking the thickness because we're pretty sure it's a different thickness than yesterday but uh once they get that set up we're going to put epoxy in here we're going to get the mandrel on here and we'll uh, start our uh, wind. Oh, 
actually gonna happen. Yeah, that is hot. All right, those are what? Oh, I know. I thought okay, okay, you just leave. Just... I think that film that filament is way, 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 way too thin. That makes sense. Um, the carbon fiber is pretty deep. Yeah. So, but we did three layers of this, and it was like you could still see the knot. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, I think it'll be fine once it dries. Yes. But for Not right really now, load -bearing, dude. no, I don't think that would be load bearing at all. So there's still some goofiness to, going on. I need to mess with that blind angle or yeah. now. But I think it did a good job overall. Yeah, I think I think our I think this method will work better. I agree. My name is Peter Limer, and I am the chief technical officer of the rocket design team at Missouri S and T. As chief technical officer, it's my duty and responsibility to provide uh, technical advice to all projects on the team from liquid to solid, um, go to a lot of meetings, uh, help where I can. PDR is preliminary design review. These are important because they give our projects an initial overview of the design uh, going forward and give us, gives the entire team a chance to pick apart that design, find flaws, and create solutions. Uh, my name is Noah Damery, and I am the Liquid Project Chief Engineer this year. So what that means is I'm in charge of the technical functions of, the, uh, of our university's Vibrocon Liquid rocket project. And what we do for that is we develop a rocket that's fueled by uh, ethanol and nitrous oxide. So our goals for this year are to send a rocket to uh, about Hopefully like 40,000 feet is the, the goal right now. Um, that is a substantial step up from last year. Last year we launched a liquid rocket for the first time in the team's history. Um, we launched at 20,000 feet this summer uh, using a similar architecture to the architecture that we're planning on using now. We're just gonna iterate on that. Our rocket has like two primary like divisions of subsystems. We have our propulsion subsystem and then at, like the like supporting subsystems, so like avionics, um, aerostructure, aero recovery, stuff like that. Um, and then for our propulsion subgroup, we have uh, three like divisions within that. One is the actual engine itself, one is the um, feed system, and one is the uh, control system that m makes the, basically uh, commands valve actuation and uh, reads like temperatures and pressures within the system. Uh, I'm Shaq, I'm the liquid control lead this year. Um, I'm just helping Brittany here um, source a current sensor for the new GSC board. What, is, what does the GSC do, like, in general? It stands for ground support equipment, and it, it includes and entails all operations that support the rocket while it's on the ground and things like filling it up with nitrous oxide, um, igniting the igniter, which ultimately is what sends the rocket up. In this episode, we introduce the team, some of the leads involved in our projects, new developments for our team, as well as preliminary design reviews for our solid and liquid projects. Tune into next video for more about the rocket design team. Thanks for watching.